Hey, this is Adam. This is the Fisher Ranger 108. It's brand new for 2023 and we're gonna get into it. The new Fisher Ranger 108 uh, is completely redesigned for 2022, 2023. We've actually talked about the 96 and the 102 in previous reviews. So if you're interested in those skis, go back a little bit and check out those reviews. Um, the 108 is different because obviously it's 108 underfoot. Um, it is obviously pretty heavily rockered. That rocker point goes about 30% down the ski. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a super fun, energetic, all mountain ski. Um, obviously being 108 under, underfoot, it's a little more soft snow oriented. Um, it's only six millimeters wider than the 102 on paper, but it feels like something that's much more geared towards that softer condition. Um, one of the things I really like about this one in particular is that it's hugely, hugely improved from last season. So the reason I like the Ranger 108 so much is because it's floaty, it's still energetic, and it's playful. One of the issues I had with the old Ranger series was that it was really stiff and the, t and the tail was really flat. On this ski, you have a rocker tail profile. It's really easy to disengage from a turn, so slashing around in soft snow is really fun and it's really easy. Um, I'm gonna say easy 500 times during this review and that's totally fine because that's what the ski is. It engages easily, it disengages easily, and honestly, it holds an edge when you get on that firmer snow easily. Um, so again, I think this ski, on paper, it's not very very different than the 102 and the 96. The biggest change for me is that when you get a ski that's this wide, you want something that's gonna be floatier, surfier, whatever adjective you wanna use to describe having more fun on the ski, and that's what the 108 does. Um, let's talk spec a little bit. All of the new Ranger series skis have what's called Shape TI. Shape TI is basically a length correct sheet of metal that you can kind of see. I'm sure we'll cut to some B-roll situations here. Um, it's a raised sheet of metal that's in the ski that is appropriate for the length. Um, gives the ski torsional rigidity, it makes the ski a little more damp, um, and it makes it just ski better at higher speeds and on shittier conditions. Um, I, I've really enjoyed skiing this thing. I actually run this with a marker kingpin. This is kind of like my, I'm gonna go ski some fun stuff and I need a ski that can kind of handle some speed, handle some sketchier terrain, and I don't wanna go on like some super lightweight trek. Um, ski's still fairly lightweight, but it's not by any means like a Transalp or a Hannibal from Fisher. This kind of sits in its own class. So I'm 5'11". 220 pounds. I ski the 108 in a 185. Um, for me, especially in New England, this is the perfect length. I actually wish all of the skis in their line came in the 185 as opposed to like 182, 183. I, I just think the 185 is, is the ideal length for somebody of my size. And the 108 is no different because like I said, that rocker profile is pretty similar ski to ski. Um, so huge fan of that. Obviously the color looks excellent this year. The new tan uh, matches every Solomon kit that came out last year. Yeah, for more on this ski, you can check out the full review on outofpodcast.com and uh, check out all the other reviews we have going on on the YouTube channel. And be sure to like and subscribe and all that shit that you're supposed to do. Cool. Thanks. Bye.